All right, guys, so first thing you need to know about modifying your Ultra 4 is that this bit on the front is solvent welded on. So you're gonna have to pry that off. I used a pair of CR10 snips that are well, well loved, well worn to pry that off and that'll let you clamshell open the shell itself. Then you've got a whole bunch of screws in here. They come in two different sizes. There's the main body screws, which are all uniform. And then there's one itty bitty boy down here. And then there's one itty bitty fellow down it's either down here in one of the rail attachments it's the front of the rail attachment up here so once we pop this guy open so settling an internal bet pat and i were both right i said that it was going to be an extension spring that allowed this ratchety system to retract and pat said that it was going to be a gear train or a gearbox and uh it's both it's a gearbox powered by the uh the extension which is probably why it's so smooth the combination is strong uh, we should have some sort of dart DRM lock in here. We're going to rip the entirety of this super exposed plunger tube out. This is our dart holder piece, which we can just set aside for now. We're going to remove this completely, take a look at what kind of spring is inside, and then we're going to obliterate the dart DRM. The only question is, should we rebarrel this for micros? And while we unequivocally should rebarrel it for micros, we're going to leave it sadly barreled for uh, ultra darts, just because it's the only one in North America right now, and we want to keep it pure. All right, guys, so in the process of modifying, I just want to point out that this is the spring that it comes with, and it's quite robust. However, uh, this is a K26, and we all know that that stuff's good, so if it's not broke, don't fix it. Now, to get at that, we had to crack open the gear train as gently as we could. This panel comes off, and then the plunger actually sits inside here like this. Now, that's going to attach to this screw in the back, which goes back like that and screws indirectly to the plunger rod. I do want to applaud Hasbro. I don't have a lot of compliments for this line and I absolutely hate solvent weld almost as much as I hate DRM. However, uh, the fact that the plunger still screws in instead of glues in means that this is at least friendly for spring swaps, which is where it's at. Uh, speaking of, that's a straight shot through. Uh, we accomplished that by taking a caliber and barrel and dead blow hammering through this thing because we are in fact old school cool and wanted people to know it uh, as we're doing this modification live on twitch.tv backslash vampire drag. With all that said and done, all that's really left to do is uh, re-grease this bad boy up, uh, swap the springs. I think that our catch is probably going to be fine, but if it isn't, this is our catch mechanism. But it's like a sheer style catch, not explicitly uh, a catch spring. So I think that we should be in good shape. And if we aren't, we can always beef that bad boy up as well with our uh, random helter-skelter spring assortment from, I think, Lowe's. Uh, other than that, there were two screws that went through here to lock into the gearbox. I wouldn't mess with this alignment at all, uh, simply because it's good how it is. And if it's good, don't fix it. Okay, so in my video, I pointed out that there was a mysterious rattle in my Ultra 4, and I thought that, that was strange. Now, to be abundantly clear, that was a completely stock Ultra 4. I think it might be pre-production, but none of that matters. Uh, the internals are definitely production quality and grade. There's no protoplastic in here to speak of. I was curious because when I opened it up, this was in the grip and I was like, oh, what could this piece possibly go to? It seems superfluous. Maybe it's just a piece that fell out uh, while it was being assembled. But nope, this is the piece that holds the plunger uh, in as like kind of a spring back strap. And it turns out that it's a little piece that goes on top there that locks in to here, completing kind of the, the grip, uh, both mechanical and then a uh, puzzle-esque of the, the back strap of the spring retention mechanism. The fact that it broke because the stock spring tension was too much for it is mildly cause for concern. However, I am a sample size of one, uh, and I highly, highly recommend uh, if it happens to anybody else, if you notice a strange rattling in your Ultra 4, uh, first off, I'm sorry that you purchased an Ultra 4, and then second off, um, let me know. Let me know how that happened to you. I'm very curious if this is something that breaks just under the own force of the spring inside, or uh, if it's something about the way that I've been priming mine. I've only put about 100 shots through mine, maybe 200 before starting this modification guide. All right, guys, so we're outside and we've made an honest blaster of this one as well. I kind of like that when I do the gold, it's not the electroplated gold. It's like a very uh, mod-friendly painted gold. It's almost like a bronze, which, uh, let's be honest, is the metal that I would give the entire Ultra line. Um, so priming this now is a, a little bit stiffer, obviously. The K26 is not a joke. Uh, and our darts go in just a little bit further now because we've blown through the dart DRM 
And I'm not even sure if that's necessarily a good thing because again, this doesn't utilize effective barrel length. It utilizes like a choke ring. So uh, we're pretty far behind that choke ring right now. You should be able to see looking down the barrel, but I think that we'll get some sort of effective push through it and maybe the K26 will just make up for it. Uh, overall, I think that this plunger volume is very similar to a Night Finder, and Jinx has chosen the worst possible moment to be in the line of fire. So let's uh, take a look at our FPS readings. And so I think that with a full modification guide getting 76 there, we're going to have to make sure that we prime first and load properly. I think with, okay, 110. So a mild boost with the spring upgrade, but you have to be absolutely careful to load these darts in properly. 114, because again, the barrel is just very funky. 112. I think at this point it's pretty safe to say that we're getting a very small 10, 15% boost. That's 105. Uh, I don't know if it was necessarily worth the squeeze, but uh, it was fun to take a look at the internals. Uh, and it also makes it very easy for me to tell you guys uh, that this product is not ridiculously mod friendly. It might be rebarrel friendly if you need something that has a retractable pullback kind of pseudo T pull. Uh, but ultimately, like I've said before, the Ultra line is measuring their corporate lies and ranges. So let's fire some flat shots and see if we can't uh, improve on our performance a little bit. And certainly a little bit, we're getting closer to like uh, modified elite style performance this way. Gosh, I wish there was some way to make these darts go straight, but we're definitely getting 80, 85 foot shots now. Well, that one dived down and, and probably went about 65, 70. So we'll fire one more angled and see if angled with modification. And it just broke our fence and we're standing five feet in. So that's a 95 foot shot, which isn't terrible. We've made a slightly more honest blaster of the, uh, the old Ultra 4, but that's just my take on it. If you want to join the old honesty squad for the Nerf Ultra line, all you got to do is leave an Amazon review. I noticed something very interesting where once people started leaving honest, earnest, very truthful Amazon reviews for not only the darts, but also the Ultra One, uh, somebody somewhere started leaving five-star reviews uh, that seemed very cookie cutter-esque. I'll let you draw your own conclusions, boys. However, uh, I can pretty safely say having fully modified this, having taken a look at it, taken it apart, uh, I'm probably gonna take it apart one more time and rebarrel it for micros because this is, this is an overall useless product for me. I just have no interest uh, in firing uh, this ammo. I think that the ammo is poor uh, and I think that this manner of getting it to fire out of a spring pneumatic uh, is just unequivocally designed done wrong. It's designed for like, how can we sell these expensive darts that we think will be difficult to replicate and not how can we sell the best experience to our, uh, our end customer? How can we make the most blasting fun for, uh, for a buck? So uh, not a big fan of the Ultra 4. Who knows, maybe the Ultra 5 will be better. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel uh, hit that bell button and we'll be back in probably tomorrow with a, uh, a look at the Ultra 5. We'll do a full review of it in its stock form and then we'll give it the old uh, gilded treatment eventually. The only other thing that I want to mention is that it's not too late to get in on our February uh, Patreon patch. I have fully updated the Patreon so that the patch is now listed as a benefit, which means that you absolutely can plug your address in and you absolutely have to, but I wanna give you guys a sneak preview. This is February's Patreon patch. And uh, I promise they will all be quite this snarky, but um, I just really like this one. I think that the pro one is really cool. Addy put the, the, the like cool guy sunglasses on it against her wishes. She said that that wouldn't be as cool, that it looked fine without them, but I really liked putting sunglasses on the pro dart. Uh, but hopefully Dart Zone likes it. Maybe I'll, I'll mail them one. I haven't decided yet. But other than that, it's a Patreon exclusive for people who are a true fan or higher uh, for the month of February, which is coming up real, real soon. I'll plug it a few more times as we kind of go into that month. But 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, I really, really appreciate you watching these videos. Share them with your Nerf groups. Uh, let your friends know. And uh, go leave an Amazon review if you've got some time. Much love. Nerf on Drac out.